I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hey everybody, this is Jason Dean with the Joe Blow Movie Network. Sometimes a movie universe has its own movie universe inside of it. That's why this week we are going to count down the top 10 movies within movies. Number 10 is possibly one of the first known ideas of a movie within a movie. Buster Keaton produced, directed, and starred in Sherlock Jr. way back in 1924 during the silent film era. In this scene, the film projectionist is transported into the movie he is playing, only to find himself as the main character, along with other people in his life playing supporting characters. If you consider yourself a film buff, you need to check this out on YouTube if you haven't watched it. Number 9 is kind of a joke reel within the 90s Schwarzenegger vehicle, Last Action Hero. The movie itself is already a send-up of Arnold's bigger-than-life action hero status, so this movie trailer within the movie is even more satire of the Hollywood industry forcing an action star into a cheesy Shakespearean action remake of Hamlet. What's scary is how not that far from the mark this satire really is, even now over 20 years later. Number 8 is Mel Brooks at his finest. At the end of History of the World Part 1, the coming attractions show scenes from a fictional Part 2, including Hitler on ice, a Viking funeral, and this movie trailer for Jews in Space. While we never get to see this trailer fully realized, many do believe this was a precursor to the Mel Brooks sci-fi comedy Spaceballs, which included more than its share of Jewish jokes. Number 7 is a very recognized film within a film reference. 1993 gave us the John Goodman movie Matinee, which was actually set in 1962 during the Cuban Missile Crisis. The movie focused on the screening of a new horror thriller movie known as Mant, half man, half ant, shown in a Tama vision and Rumble Rama. The director Joe Dante absolutely captures the essence of the 1950s style of sensationalized horror movies. Check it out if you haven't. Number six was low-hanging fruit for comedy, but it still ended up being pretty funny by getting the original actors involved. In Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, both Jay and Bob end up on the set of Goodwill Hunting 2, Hunting Season, the ridiculous sequel to the original film, once again starring Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Worried about how bad the movie might be, Jay and Bob take it on themselves to try to stop the production. Number 5 is a big budget adult movie within the porn industry story Boogie Nights. Porn director Jack Horner wanted to rise above the typical cheesy storylines and acting from normal adult movies. He took two big name porn stars, Dirk Diggler and Reed Rothschild, and put them in Angels Live in My Town. The story of two manly police officers cleaning up the mean streets and bedding down the ladies. Number 4 is a movie... This next entry wasn't just a film within the movie, it was a fairly major plot device in an otherwise standard film. I am talking about Angels with Filthy Souls from the Home Alone franchise. Macaulay Culkin used clips from the movie as a trick to make others think they were dealing with a psychopathic gangster, including a delivery pizza guy and the wet bandits from the first movie, leading to some pretty clever humor. The film made a return in the second Home Alone film used to similar effect. Number two kind of transcends the idea of a movie within a movie by having an entirely different director create what in essence is a completely separate short film complementing the larger film. Quentin Tarantino hired his friend Eli Roth, who played Danny Donowitz in the movie, to create Nation's Pride, a German propaganda film starring the fictional Frederick Zoller as himself. The film shows Zoller as a Nazi sharpshooter killing what seems to be the entire US Army, one soldier at a time. Number one is going back to an earlier entry on our list. We talked about Hamlet from Last Action Hero, but even better is for the entirety of the movie we are actually watching our hero Danny transported into the fictional Jack Slater film franchise universe where the Jack Slater 4 film plays out over the course of The Last Action Hero. It's pretty much the definition of meta storytelling and the idea of a movie within a movie. While it didn't do well at the box office, it's actually a cool movie if you can appreciate the cleverness of it all. So there's our top 10 movies within movies tell us down below which one is your favorite i'm jason dean for the joe blow movie network and thanks for watching